Normally, I don't like to download people's files because it's just extra steps. But Rusty, uh, being from Canada, <laughs> um, and um, bought a, an OBA file that he has some troubles bringing into Fusion and, and get to work on his on his 3D printer. I thought that I would make an exceptional exception for Rusty. Um, so I did bring in his file. So let's uh, open that up. So Rusty went out and bought an OBJ file. So you can go out and Google and you can search things out and um, and 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 look at it. And this is a pretty dang cool cool file, Rusty. Now the problem Rusty has, I think, if I understand correctly, is that when he's trying, when he brings it into his 3D printer, everything looks fine. But when he's trying to print it, it doesn't work. And it looks like it's all just like shells. So what I did, I brought this in. It's an OBJ file. Rusty bought this. It's really beautiful. Look at this thing. Um, but when I click on the bodies folder, Rusty, I get this. It all looks like mesh. And then you guys who have been around for a while says, well, that's cool. We can work with mesh files inside of Fusion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this second one. I'm going to go down to hold down my shift key, go to the last mesh file and just hit V. That's going to turn all those off. So I'm just going to narrow it down to only having one mesh file. So we can look at it a little bit closer. Rusty, when I look at this, I notice that it doesn't look like there's any thickness to it. You see that? It just looks like it's paper thin. And actually, if I do right click on this and say mesh to B wrap, what is our trick here? I hit OK to that. When I scroll down to the bottom, I actually see that this is a surface body, not a solid body. And that tells me that this here is a shell. There's no thickness, what means that, of course, on your 3D printer, when you go to print this, you are going to be in trouble because um, it doesn't have any, any thickness to it. Now, you could try to thicken this, but I think you're going to have some trouble with it. Um, let's go into the surface tool path. Let's select all this and look at this. Just in this little piece, 6,882 surfaces. I didn't try this before this, but I think you're going to have a trouble. You can go in here and we could look um, for, if we're going to create, we could go in here and um, where is it? The thicken. There should be a thicken in here, isn't there? It's not a thicken. Why is it not a thicken? Am I missing it? Somebody's yelling at me right now. Trim, trim, trim. I thought that would be a thicken inside of. Oh, right there. Ah, jeez. You could try and go in here and thicken this. Um. But I don't know if Fusion's going to be able to handle it. I mean, 6,882 faces and try to turn this into a solid might just bring Fusion to its knees. I should probably have tried this before <laughs> I started recording this. Um, honestly, Rusty, I think you're a little bit out of luck. I think that you uh, have selected a file type that doesn't really fit for a mechanical uh, CAD tool. Um, this is probably, there's, there might be other software out there that would help you better at thickening things. Um, but let's just try to thicken this five millimeters maybe. And it says me down here, the operation could not be created without a result. Um, it's probably just because all these surfaces are overlapping, you know, like one of these garbage in, garbage out kind of deals. Um, I, I, if there is a solution to this, I honestly think that it might just be uh, something else. Maybe somebody has um, another solution for this, Rusty, um, but I wanted to bring you in and at least give you the explanation why you're having issues. 
Um, if there's somebody out there who does 3D printing, who's a lot better 3D printing than me, please, in the common area, help Rusty out. He's paid money for this file. 